Hey everyone, welcome back. I want to talk today about this theory that's been circulating like since not just day one, but like within the first hour uh, of the assassination attempt on Trump. Okay, so the theory is right, this conspiracy theory is that uh, Trump set this up himself. Okay, um, so let's talk about this. So uh, the first problem with this with this conspiracy theory is um, even if Trump set this up so that he can look like some type of a hero or some type of a victim, um, taking a chance with having a bullet like just nick your ear, okay, um, you know, at 150 yards, I mean, at 150 yards on my best day, maybe I'll shoot like an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half. Well, inch and a quarter to an inch and a half trying to nick that ear. I mean, there's a good chance that it's going to end up in your head. Or if, again, if, if Trump just moves his head a little bit, right, that could also end up in his head. So, uh, but but forget about real bullets. So people have been floating the idea that, that he wasn't even shot um, in the ear, that it was fake blood. So the problem with that is that that can't be executed, right, unless the Secret Service is in on it, okay? Uh, the Secret Service would, would have to be a part uh, of this setup, right, because they're right there, right? Uh, you know, they they are the ones that grabbed him, you know, escorted him out. Uh, they're the ones that were probably the first responders, right, uh, you know, seeing where he was shot, right? Um, so this nick in the ear... Uh, you know, if this was like fake blood, I mean, they would have to be in on it, okay? Um, so the the other problem with this is that if they were if they were if, if they were in on it, uh, they're basically making themselves look really bad. So, what does the Secret Service gain out of assisting Trump set this up uh, and making themselves look bad? Okay, and. Uh, you know, here's the thing, Secret Service, really part of the deep state, right? They're part of the, the bureaucracy. Um, so what incentive they, do they have to help Trump and make themselves look bad, uh, especially when the, the fact is that they are basically working for the executive branch. They're working for Biden, okay? Um, so th you're talking about, like, you know, a lot of, you know, a lot of things are working against themselves here, right? Secret Service, you know, first of all, they work for Biden, right? They work for the executive branch. Uh, they would be willing, they have to be willing to make themselves look bad uh, to the point of being fired. Okay, what incentive do they have for that? Okay, uh, so, you know, so, so, so Trump can't set this up without the assistance of the Secret Service, okay? So could this be happening at a higher level, okay? Could Biden, all right, or Democrats have have set this up somehow? Okay, um, so again, now if Biden and Democrats are setting this up, why would they want to make? First of all, why would they want to victimize? You know, make Trump look like a victim, right? Uh, because you know, uh, as I think most people would have expected, his popularity probably would. You know, I mean, it was predictable that his popularity would have gone up and Biden and Democrats would have looked like the bad guys. Their, their popularity would have gone down. So again, there's no incentive there for Biden and Democrats to set something like this up. They're not going to gain anything out of it. Uh, and for them to do something like this, they would need the assist. They would basically need the cooperation of the Secret Service and Trump. Okay, so so that doesn't make any sense. Um, so, so, and, that, and that's basically the three sides of this, right? You got Trump, okay? If he was to set something like this up, he can't do it by himself. He needs the cooperation of the Secret Service. For the Secret Service to try and set something like this up on their own, they pretty much need the cooperation of Trump, right? If they're going to set this up like with fake blood and, and stuff like that. Um, to set this up with a real bullet, uh... You know what? I mean, with the, with a bullet that co coming that close to Trump's ear, right? This was a, with a real bullet. Listen, it was 
here's the thing. Trump was supposed to be, was not have supposed to survive this, right? That's how this was set up. He was not supposed to have survived this with a bullet passing that close that it just nicks your ear. Uh, there's a pretty damn good chance that it would have been a headshot and, and he would have been dead or, or, or uh, like permanently, um, you know, incapacitated. Okay. Um, so, so, so it doesn't make sense Trump setting, for Trump setting this up. Doesn't make sense for the Secret Service setting this up and failing and making themselves look like, like failures. Okay. Um, and it doesn't make sense for Biden and Democrats to set something like this up. Okay. So, uh, what does make sense, right? This, what does make sense? Um, what makes the most amount of sense is just absolute like incompetency and complacency on the part of the Secret Service. Okay. That's that's the that's the theory that makes the most sense to me, right? That they were just complete complacent. Um, like from their perspective, Trump does lots of rallies, so they're used to doing this all the time. For, so for them, this is probably a routine, boring, pain in the ass kind of thing. Uh, that's probably eating up a lot of their resources. They hate doing it. They probably hate putting this much effort into protecting Trump. Um, so there's just the the lazy complacency aspect is is the most probable okay uh that's the that's that's the most likely one okay um the next most likely uh is that the deep state right the bureaucracies right when we say the deep state is like too much of a vague term the bureaucracies like all the three letter agencies um you know they you know they they wanted to get rid of trump because you know at this point trump definitely wants to rein them in get them under control if he becomes president um, you know, he's at this point, he's like going in, if he gets elected, he's aware that they have, that they are working against him, that they have always been against him. Um, so, so yes, there is some incentive there for the bureaucracy, for the deep state to want to get uh, rid of him. Okay. So, so that is like the, it's not likely again, I believe that incompetence is the most likely, um, uh, reason why this happened, but the next most likely would be that the uh, that they actually want to get him out of the way. Okay, so um, so again, if that's the case, right? If they were setting something like this up, I would expect a lot more competence. Okay, uh, I would I would at 150 yards, I would expect that uh, that they didn't fail so miserably. Okay, um, so again, that's why it's like pretty low on my list. Now, what? I think does make sense, okay, is kind of a combination of, of one and two here, um, where like extreme incompetence, complacency, uh, and at the same time, they didn't mind if something bad happened to Trump, okay, um, so, so, so on that level, not that they set something up, like they intentionally planned for something bad to happen to Trump, uh, but their dislike for him um, aided the complacency, right? It aided that that laziness, aided that you know lack of going through all the proper steps to ensure his safety. Okay, so their their dislike of him added to the laziness, complacency, incompetence. Okay, and that's how we ended up with the scenario that we have. Where you basically got a guy with a rifle in one hand and a ladder on his other hand, you know, you know, walking up to a building, right, like 150 yards from the president, you know, putting the ladder up on the building, climbing up the ladder, positioning himself on a rooftop, you know, while the Secret Service is looking at him, okay? Um, and again, I mean, what was going through their head, what their, pro again, going back to like just the lack of preparation, what I think that they were thinking is that maybe that guy, if they, I'm sure that they saw, the, and they said that they had eyes on him. I heard that they've had eyes on him. What I think was going on, the reason why they didn't take that shot and, 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 and basically stop the threat is because I think they didn't realize, they weren't 100% sure that he was actually a threat. They were thinking, okay, they were probably thinking that he was another Secret Service agent that was there to protect Trump. Um, 
and that he was basically that he was basically a cop. Okay, that's what I think was going through the minds of the Secret Service, right? That they were just like so disorganized that you know, like they had such a lack of preparation that they're probably thinking to themselves, "You got a guy here going approaching the building with a ladder, calmly, you know, getting up on the roof, positioning himself." They're probably like calling in to, to to figure out, hey, is this a cop over there? Is this another agent? Is this from a different agency? Is this is that an FBI guy? Is that a CIA guy? Is that a uh, you know you know another so, some other alphabet agency guy, ATF guy? You know, so that's what I think was actually happening, and the reason why that shot was delayed is because they were trying to figure out from what. You know what other what cop is this? Okay, that that's that's setting this up. And again, that goes back to just the, the level of the lack of preparation uh, that they had, where they were just like confused. Okay, so those are my thoughts on that. If you guys got any other ideas, please put them in the comments. Let me know what you guys think, uh, and I'll talk to you all soon. And uh, like I said in another video, um, we've got to let Joe Biden know that he's doing a great job and he needs to stay uh, in this uh, in this race uh and uh you know if he gets out if he drops out of the race uh there's a good chance that trump's gonna go after you know after hunter biden after joe biden after joe biden right that that, that if, if, if if joe biden drops out of his race there's a good chance that they're gonna run him through the courts that Re republicans are gonna run him through the courts the same way democrats have been running trump um and the only way he can protect himself is by staying in this in this race okay uh, and furthermore, if he if he gets out of this race, uh, there's a good chance that that Trump and the Republicans are going to try and confiscate all that illegal money that he's been collecting over the years. Okay, so th we gotta we gotta let Biden know this. We gotta we gotta let Biden know that if he drops out of this race. You know, he's got a lot to lose. The best thing that he can do is stay in this race. Okay, and beat Trump. Okay, so drop some comments below, and I'll talk to you all soon.